Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening for Infliction Muay Thai. Let's meet our fighters. First of all, fighting out of our red corner, weighing in last night at 73.4 kilos, with a professional Muay Thai record of 41 fights for 30 victories. He trains out of Muay Yu in the ACT. Please welcome David Penampi. His opponent fighting out of our blue corner tonight. Weighed in at 73.6 kilos. A veteran of over 280 Muay Thai fights. Training out of Team Boogadam in Thailand. Please welcome Yusuf Boogadam. Just the ring to seal our runway. And then we are underway, folks. Be with you in just a tick at Infliction Muay Thai. Let's go up to Dave Vella for final instructions. Hey, well, you both have experienced fighters, you both know the rules. Three rules, you need to act chop, stop, break and fight. You both understand? Go back to the corners, when I say come out, touch gloves, get it on. You ready? Let's go, boys! Justin Gibbons, our referee, giving the fighters their final instructions. Fights break the rounds in one time. Muay Thai. On screen there, Yusuf Bugana. Sorry, David Penampete. I was looking at Yusuf at exactly the same time, not even looking at the screen. Great start for your main event. My name is Dane Daddy Cool, if anyone's asking. <laughs> Bex Tui, ringside with Dane Daddy Cool. Five by three, full tie rules. Everything on show here, Dane. We are underway. He looks very relaxed. Pin and pay. Took two out the back. He's not worried by the fighter at all, the, or the stage that he's on at the moment. Um, he's taking it in his stride. Very calm. 
you'd argue Dane can't afford to be overawed by the occasion. The incredibly good athlete is David. He's always been a very good mover for a man of his, his size. But of course, Vugana, for those that don't know, 280 fights in every stadium title in Thailand and defended, says everything you need to know as he presses forward. Still looks so fresh and young, Yusuf, for a man with nearly 300 in the book, doesn't he? Yeah, it's a lot of fights. And it's a long time to be at the top too, so can the Aussie pull it off tonight? See a nice push kick there by Yusuf. Skips in, inside, outside. A little bit of class, but Penn and Pete pull the trigger on a right hand there. Can't afford to be tentative. Flips his way out of a sweep attempt. Mentioned David's athleticism. He's going to need all of it tonight, defensively. Skipping in is Boganum. Double jab, pen and pee. Everything stiff from the Belgian early. The Aussie goes outside. Rise smile from Boganum, who says, I'm just going to heat up a little more, but obviously 14 years in Thailand, Dane, we can expect things to speed up from Yusuf throughout the evening. Yeah, he's, he's not a traditional slow starter, so as we're seeing here, applying the pressure, controlling the ring and putting David on the ropes. Um, so the, the low kick from, from Dave, he's, he's got a very quick uh, leg kick for a big guy. It's a nice little right hand there. Right hand doing good things early for Penn and Pete. Again, that left. Good boxing from the Aussie. Settling in to his work. Last 30 of round one. Yeah, trying to draw him in there. A few my games. Wants to get into it, but Dave's sticking to his game plan. See him fire that right hand straight down the tube again. Straight shots from Penafit and some uh, really good lateral movement. Defensively doing well. Zippy with the knees there with 10 to go in the first. The boys exchange right in front of us. Penafit positions himself well, but the defence of the Moroccan early is lovely to watch. Yeah, very, very smart. In the round one. Cut above, you saw David Penafit there positioning the hands and uh, Yusuf there finding a way to get out of it. Spinning out there, Dane, please, I'm going to allow you to commentate these. Yeah, he's, I think um, he, he wants some action, but Dave's, you know, he's got to suss him out. I just heard him say to his corner then, I, I don't, he's, he's not that strong. Um, very early stages, but that's good confidence for the Aussie. We see a nice body kick there. And just tries to throw him out the ring. Yusuf is kicking very well to the body. Penn and Peter, really good straight down the pipe. It's been uh, an enthralling first round, hasn't it? It's been like a good thriller. Great stuff, folks. Wherever you're joining us from around the world, thank you. We appreciate it. Been some hectic weather, some pretty inclement weather around these parts, forcing us to cancel what was meant to be an outdoor event and combined two shows. A very long day for some very wonderful people here. Certainly appreciate this, doing it the Thai style of having the main event midway through the evening and then some warm down. Uh, but some early good signs for both men. Yusuf doesn't need to be pumped up by me, but David Penapede, he'd be happy with that first round. Yeah, I think he is. Um Growing for confidence, he'll grow for confidence in that. He, he went straight back, and um, he's in good spirits here. So I, I'd like to see him chop the legs a little bit more, um, and then, and then, yeah, don't get caught into him. Don't get caught into to trying to punch on with him and, and, and get into his game because he's determined for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> um, Not many have won a firefight with you. Sir. And will it be the young man from Canberra's evening this evening? Early doors yet. Some adjustments to be made on both sides. And here's round two. Bex Tui ringside with Dane Daddy Cool. And Buganum starts up beautifully kicking to the body with a receipt from Penipede. 
Yeah, very fast kick off the front leg there, Yusuf, but both boys lock up. Dave looking for the... Oh, beautiful. He's kicked on the ground there. Yeah, low He's kick. Kicked on the ground. Don't think that's in use this game. I've seen dozens of his 280 fights. It's play on in Thailand. But yes. it's... Uh, not in these parts. He's on now, but very crafty moves. Penelope sneaky on the elbow on the way in as well in that clinch. You've got to think if Dave thinks he's got a strength advantage that that could be somewhere he could capitalise. Standing at range and firefighting like this, perhaps not the best strategy as we see the speed of the Belgian champion. Starting to open up with those uh, hands is the Belgian. He's got strong punches. Beautiful see Dave. right hand from Penelope to go three and four and five. Lines him up, low leg kick, lovely little exchange from the Aussie. And he's not afraid to, to throw him down, Dave Pinapes. He's just throwing those long range knees. With Gannon working those knees on the inside of the clinch very nicely and happy to work, it seems, from any range. Pinapes doesn't want to be at this range right here. Needs to come in. Ooh, big left hook. To be careful with his hands on the way out, Dave. This man with nearly 300 fights knows every trick in the book. As he works levels on Pen and Pete. Nah, the welts on the leg already. Obvious so from those low kicks from Dave Pen He goes back to it. Looking for that elbow on the way in too. A war of attrition, it seems, between the body work from Bugana and the leg work from Ken and Pete at this stage. It's really a case of, at this stage today, in which one of them accelerates at, at, at a higher level as Bugana presses forward Beautiful. and just stands over his opponent. You know, both these men quite uh, quietly spoken, polite, friendly. You just saw use of their, the white line fever that gets into all champions. Yeah, I think it's important, you know, Dave chopping the legs, you know, good damage, but those body kicks from Yusuf are higher scoring. So he knows what he's doing here, the veteran. Not to mention the damage cause, there's another one. Penelope tries his own. Bugatum says, look, let go of the ropes, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and lets the... the Pop off the ropes. <laughs> let's bring visuals the know about it. And that's two in the book. Amazing there, Dane, we see the psyche of Rugano. Such champion, but he was filthy in a few moments there. Yeah, we see this low kick on the ground. Dave getting some good punches in early. Not damaging, not damaging too much, but, but keeping him off his off his game. So we see here, smart. Like I said earlier, you get three warnings, you might as well use them. Is it a case, Dane, that we're seeing of, of Penelope doing everything he can to upset the rhythm of, uh, of Yusuf? He's been kicking to the legs well, he's been punching straight well. Is it about that? Is it about not letting this man lend his power shot? Definitely. He's had 280 fights. He, he's, he's fought everyone and everyone. Um, you do not want him to get his roll on. Um, so, big task for Dave, but he, he's doing a very good job early on in this fight um, when when uh, Yusuf's punching starts coming I'm, I'm worried about Dave coming away from from the from an exchange and coming out and getting caught um, he has got to come back with his hands glued to his head uh, the leg will come up those punches are very strong he's knocked a lot of men out so he's got to be careful at all times but but a good start what has Yusuf got to keep his eye on? I guess is another question we can get to. I think he'll, I think he'll start to to open up a bit more with his hands. This is round three now. Um, they start picking him up in Thailand. Round three, round four of the you know the penultimate round. So he'll he'll pick up from here. Um, he, he landed a few punches on Dave, but he doesn't mind throwing a few punches. So expect him to pick, to pick the pressure up this round. Third round of five, scheduled for tonight. David Penn and Pete on screen there, Yusuf Bugatum in the yellow shorts. Bugatum 
multiple champion, 14 years in Thailand, David Pettenpeek, one of the brightest young stars of Australian Muay Thai. As he fires straight, does Pettenpeek. Bugatti knees and turns beautifully. Just Great that experience down. is to shut things down when he's, it's not quite going his way. Both men, high guard, very respectful. Pen and Pete wants to watch in moments like this. It's the word from Dame Daddy Cool. And you get the feeling that Bugatti is getting a bit annoyed at the uh, rope holding. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's very good at getting him off off balance. So we see Dave looking for that elbow. Just short. Concentration on the Aussie's eyes. Well, Gannam sits back in behind his guard. Propping on that lead leg again. Penipede goes down there again. But Gannam to the body. Beautiful right hand again from Penipede. But the speed. Speed of those body kicks too. You know, Out of control. So we see again there off that front leg. It flicks up like electricity. Out of control. Good hands from Pennant Pete. We'd like to see what's after that, Dave. Keep pushing. He's doing well, the Aussie. Midway through our third. We are halfway in this fight. And still, neither man to make a huge impression on the scorecard. And just as I say that, it's a little cheeky accumulation from Yusuf. Yeah, I feel Dave's... It's just a bit out of range to throw those elbows. He's throwing elbows at, at punching distance. He needs to get in close. And he's got good long range with his punches. Get him, get him going before he gets the elbows. Because they're both just crack body kicks at each other. Look under that right. That right rib cage there at Penn and P. I mean, Yusuf isn't looking too pretty either. To be honest, he's left, but David... Lenny of tenderness. And still a filling out process. You heard the slap, folks. You heard it again. Warning for holding the... Oh, he's in trouble, yep. Holding the ropes. Sorry, sir. Didn't know I was doing it. Promise it'll never happen again. Good straight work with the leather from the Aussie. Cops a receipt from Bugana. Again, that body kick. Happens so often that you think it doesn't matter, and it does. There's three in the space of 20 seconds. Again, Penn and Pete favouring the ropes. You want to be careful there. Almost instinctive. And David Penn and Pete has ended up out of the ring. <laughs> well, if I said before they were two of the nicest men going round, it may not be the case any longer. Not inside. Dane, have a look at these third round highlights. Yeah, both boys teeing off. That's where Dave needs to throw the elbows in close. He gets taken down again. A nice sneaky little knee down there in the bread basket. As we see, very good at getting him off balance. Got frustrated there and Penn and Pete warned about holding onto the ropes. Uh, Bogatum strikes me as someone who fights really well in the margins. Those little, he would have won that many of his fights by half-second stuff-ups from his opponent. You just can't afford to sleep on him. No, definitely not. Um, and a lot of power too. So that left kick of Yusuf is just relentless as we see it again there. There's where the warning come in. Dane, let me ask you this as we see that highlight there. He tossed down the ring. Is that an indication that the champion's getting frustrated? Or is that an indication of him just wanting to say, hey, I'm the big dog in this camp? Yeah, he's um, he's uh, he's a savage fighter. He, 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 he'll, he'll do anything to win. Um, like we saw before, drops his knee down. Like he, he'll, he'll get a bit dirty. He'll get a bit rugged. Um, you know, he wants to win. So if that means throwing him out the ring, then get ah, out. Ah. <laughs> yeah, WWE style. Well, we're halfway through and I've got to ask you, you know, salivating contest. Are you not entertained? No, I'm loving every minute of it. I'm actually reminding myself to talk. Yes. <laughs> I get so uh, entrenched in the good fight. But Dave's getting, he's firing up here. The boy from ACT. There's the applause for the local boy, David Penelope. So many people didn't say he would be here at the start of the fourth round, let alone 
being such an even arm wrestle with one of the greats of all time. Amazing stuff, folks. Two rounds to go. Bex to it. Ringside with the legend Dane Daddy Cool. Last warning for the corners taking forever to get out. Seconds not down in time. That's what was happening there. Pen and Pete starts up nice and straight. The straight punches for the Aussie. Been going well so far, Dane, but Yusuf, you just don't know which Yusuf is going to turn up in the first 30 seconds. And then straight back to those body kicks. Slipping straight under the elbows, too. They're going straight on the guard. There's Dane. Good movement there. Look at there's those long, rangy punches. I reckon we can see where all those kicks are going. There's <laughs> a fair mark. And he's got a scalp with his Muganum and shows I can throw leather as well. And Dave's he's cut. Him. Yeah, Dave's cut him. Cut above the left eye is Yusuf Buganan. David Penipede has cut Yusuf Buganan. And the crowd have realised it. Close quarters here. Some big knees from the Belgian day. Yeah, definitely. It's not a huge cut. So, play on. Nice right hand there from Dave, but just wearing those body kicks probably a bit too much. It's straight right from Penipede. That has been scoring all night. Straight right. And the, the right outside leg kick, the two first things you learn in Muay Thai. But David Penipede right now on the building blocks of the biggest decision of his life. Minute and a half in the fourth, folks. And it has been a relatively even contest. Willing is Australia's David Penipede. And the referee is tidying up the 300 fight nearly champion, Yusuf Bulgana. Got to say, it's going to say, I was impressed with David's ability to seize the clinch, but Bulgana just so good at disturbing that centre of gravity. Yeah, and in, in the close fights like this, I've said it before, I'll say it again, getting, getting taken to the ground will prove vital in a fight like this. And Dave's been on the ground a lot in this fight, as we see. Bulgana just what. going ham in the corner there. Seven, eight, nine knees. Some elbows for good measure as the crowd are chanting, David, David, David. And Penipede responds high and low from the Aussie. That right hand, he's finding more places than Airbnb at this stage. Fantastic stuff. Using his range well, but then there's that body kick again. Unannounced. Turn out of the corner nicely, Penipede. The Terminator, bleeding through one eye, just like the T-1000. 20 seconds in the four. Penipede, what's he got left, the Aussie? And again. You know, get a talk to here. He's, he's getting frustrated with Dave well, leaning back on the ropes. At the end of the day, it's stuff like that that's going to end up in a spinal injury. And yeah. You, you can't have that. And he just tees off on him, Dave. Five big knee, go. big knee there. What a huge fourth round, Dave. Daddy cool. The roof is going to come clean off this joint. Yeah, Queenslanders, they love a good war. Half this crowd are here for an amateur show. They've got no idea what's happening. They just know that someone's beating up with an Aussie and they want it to tee off. Let's have a look at these highlights, Dave. Yeah, just a lot, lot better here with these. There's a the little cheeky elbow that got a little cut over the eye, but a lot better with the long rangey punches, Dave. We see him just setting up that right hand, but then again, the, the, the high scoring takedown. Every time Dave hits with the straight punches, he's getting hit with a body kick and then thrown straight out the ring. I always say, I mean, it's, it's physical dominance, which is actually a thing, but when you look back at a fight, people remember when you're on the deck and when you get cut. That's it. And, and for David Penipede, Yusuf's throwing him a bit. He was warned about that. I want to ask you, legally, rules-wise, is it a sportsmanship thing to say you could damage the bloke permanently? Yeah. Well, you're not thinking about that when you go on the wall. So no. I think he just, he wants to win. He'll do anything to win. Um, you know, he's, already, he's, he's, he's been yelling at the judges about holding his arm on the rope. You know, it is a foul. Yeah. So he's throwing him out. Throwing him out, get him out. This crowd's going off here. They're absolutely loving this. 
The ACT there. point. Three minutes to go in this one. Live from the Croatian Club in Kerala, Queensland, Australia, wherever you're watching, Bex Tui, ringside with Dane Zaddy Cool, Queensland Muay Thai royalty, Australian Muay Thai royalty, if you don't mind this man, and frothing at this contest. How good is Penn and Pete, and have we seen the best of Buganam yet? Well, he's not going to slow down, that's for sure. Either boy. One thing I'll say as well is Yusuf knows that he's fighting internationally. He knows he's got to win convincingly. And that could give opportunities to David Penapet as much as it could endanger him. As we see Yusuf start out in typical Terminator fashion. Two and a half minutes away from potentially the biggest win of his career, the Aussie. As Buchanan stalks forward. Knee, knee, knee. Like a sewing machine. Beautiful from Penape. And Penape knocking him off balance, but straight back in there. Big knees too. Buchanan to work, and Penape seems to be growing stronger in this final round. Remembers what's working for him, the Aussie. It's the straight work. It's the straight work with the leather and the leg kicks down low. And those knees, good scoring shots out of range as we see him tagging off to the body. He's getting stronger. Yusuf. Yusuf rising, but Penapee won't go away, Dane. Body kicker there again. He's got to get more busy, Dave. He might have caught one a little bit low. He's got to really bring this home. He's got a gash opened up on his shin, on his right shin, Dave. Bugatan still bleeding. He's saying he's ready to go on. You can see him in the back of our pictures there. David Penapee doing the right thing and just taking the time he needs. If you're offered it, you take it. Straight punches from the Aussie two. In fact, one and a half to go in this one day. As Buchanan has realised there's not much to go here and he's going to start putting together some techniques. But Penapee doing a great job of unsettling his rhythm on a counterfight. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's not blocking any of these body kicks. You know, the punches can be can be great, but these kicks are the highest scoring points. As he lets a beautiful elbow go, Dave, there. Has and be, another one. Has to be busy at the Aussie. Two elbows are not enough. Three and four and five. He's been outpointed in every round, I would suggest, by his Belgian counterpart. Certainly not disgraced, but for David Pennant, this 40 seconds is all about heart. What has the kid from Canberra got against one of the greatest of all time, Dave? 40 to go. Just, he, just terminate and charge him forward. I doubt David, David Penapay will ever fight in front of a more uh, biased crowd than he's got here tonight. He needs to use every ounce of that in this last 20. As Buchanan presses forward, he's marked up on his face. He's been in a fight tonight, he knows it. Yeah, we love our tight boxing in Queensland. You know, you'd think Dave, growing up his whole life here, they're loving it. 10 seconds. What has this one got left? An absolute barn burner of a main event. The Terminator has come to town, but has he done enough to terminate? Both boys, he's teeing off at the end. Nice to Gets in close. Latch on. Not much time left. Penn and Pete pressing forward. He's got to let the hands go now, Dave. And he's on just that, and there's the bell. A bit of feeling in this one. You notice both men not going to each other immediately at the bell. They went to their respective corners before returning. There's a bit of feeling. Yeah, the crowd absolutely loving this one. There's not a lot of fighters, and I don't think there's any in Australia that can say, I went five rounds with Yusuf Bulana. Definitely not. Um, you know, he's made us proud. Bit of pain, it's just comes down to the judges. We watch the final replay. Nice combos there. Like I said, he's got great hands. Yosef, as we see Dave get the body kick. Those little, you know, those tiny little technical differences. You know, he'll throw the punch. Dave's big, long-ranging punches. Yosef just stalking him down, latching on with knees. Well, certainly... A night to be proud of for David Penn and Pete, but how proud is really the question. Our books, 
the Moroccan Belgian did more than enough. Some brutal kicking there. Yeah. Not up to us. And the man who knows what's what is moments away. A huge night for David Penampede, a huge night for Australian Muay Thai. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards after five rounds of Muay Thai. We have a split points decision. Going to our blue corner, Yusuf Bogana. David Penapede disappointed, but he shouldn't be. I'm sure, Dave, when you watch this back, there's two of your greatest fans calling you fine. Did incredibly well, but the Terminator, just too smart in the margins. Yeah, just, just those little one percenters, you know, the, the, the punches, you know, if you're not knocking them down and they're scoring with the kick, then they win the battle. Um, you know, he's charging in with those knees. You know what I mean? It's very, very, very smart fighting and, and the little intricacies. I'm glad the judges made the right decision there. Yeah. Um, absolute, you know, and you can see the respect from from his opponent. You know, very, very good fight from Dave. He's done well. And just take a look at that uh, that rear, uh, the, the left hamstring of, of Yusuf Buganam as he walks away there. We just saw it there. He got plenty. Yeah. Sorry, my English is not so nice, but I will try to talk with you. Thank you, Australia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to my opponent. He's a super fighter. Uh, more young than me, but he's the next generation who are going to make a cr uh, hurt the world, uh, going to, to be number one for sure. Thank you so much for the fight. I'm, I'm leaving my hands. I'm 32 years old and Thai boxing is near to the hands. I'm fighting for 20 years and the warm up people or the good people who I meet in my life is definitely Australia. Thank you so much. Thank you for Mick. Thank you for David. Thank you for the all people come to watch the fight. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to know Australian people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just quickly want to jump on and say thank you, first of all, to Nick for putting the show together after what happened yesterday. So everyone just give a big round of applause to Nick, first of all. <laughs> um, obviously this was a massive fight for me. I've been watching Yusuf for a very long time. He was someone I never in my wildest dream thought I'd be in the ring actually fighting one day. I thought I, thought I did enough, it was, I think it was very close, I hope everyone enjoyed it. I also want to say a big thank you to everyone who made the trip from Canberra. There's a big crew that came up today, my, my family as well over there. A few of the guys that made the trip from Canberra. Thank you guys so much for spending your hard-earned money coming up here and supporting me. It really does mean the world. My trainer, Kieran, we have had a, a tough last month, but I, I honestly can't thank this man enough. Everything he's done for me in the past couple of years, all the support. Mentoring he's given me over the past five years. I can't, I can't thank you enough, my partner Gabrielle as well. Thank you for always having my back. Um, and thank you for everyone coming out tonight. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, David and Yusuf.